Hey Psych'ticors, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych'ticos' mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever met someone who is very sure of themselves? These are people who exude a certain degree of comfort or assuredness, who have the ability to instill a sense of security and comfort in others. But what's their secret? Well, it just may be their self-confidence. The word confidence comes from the Latin root confidere, which means to have full trust in. These people have trust in themselves and in their abilities. Confidence can inspire change and in action in others. It provides an element of clarity in the most unclear situations. So, how do you become more confident? Here are six daily habits that confident people have. Number one, keep your promises. Broken promises can cause a lot of painful emotions, but broken promises made with yourself can be the most harmful. Perhaps you promised yourself to be healthier, but put off working out or avoid eating well. You might say, I'll just do it tomorrow, but tomorrow can carry forward a day, a week, or even a year. Failing to meet personal commitments can lessen the value of your words and diminish your self-worth. You are subconsciously sending yourself a powerful message that you are no longer a priority. So it's important to learn to hold yourself accountable for what you say. When that happens, you can start rebuilding your self-esteem and self-confidence. Number two, say and do what you mean. Do you say and do what you mean and mean what you say? Confident people act and speak with integrity. Their words match their actions and vice versa. They have clear morals and priorities and understand when to compromise and when to say no. A study from the University of California, San Francisco found that the more difficulty you have in saying no, the more likely you are to develop burnout or depression. So to act based on your values and not what you believe others might think of you is a step to becoming more confident. Number three, stop running away from your fears. Are you always anxious? One of the most useful habits confident people have developed is their ability to overcome their fears. While fear is an essential part of life and can be useful to ensure survival, too much of it produces anxiety. Confident people have learned that fear can be a tool to push you to acts of greatness or change. Accepting your fears can trick your brain out of the fight or flight system and give you control over your fear. When you learn to embrace your fears and move past them, you are on the road to becoming more confident. Number four, don't compare yourself to others. Do you spend hours on end scrolling through your social media, comparing yourself to others online? President Theodore Roosevelt once said, comparison is the thief of joy. When you constantly look at other people and their success, you end up focusing on your own imperfections and flaws. You don't allow yourself to see the vastness of your potential and all the good qualities you hold. This habit can easily demotivate you and harm your self-esteem and self-confidence. Number five, assertively state your case. Do you tend to put up with others' wants and needs before your own? If so, your self-esteem and self-worth may be suffering. In a world filled with noise and many different opinions, it's hard to make your voice heard. As a result, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that you have to please everyone. Confident people know and honor this. It's why they make it a habit to speak with conviction and assertion because they understand that their ideas will not be noticed otherwise. Learn how to communicate your ideas and needs respectfully and honestly, and people will listen. And number six, don't be afraid to be wrong. Are you afraid to be proven wrong? Do you tend to argue with others until they concede? Confident people are confident in their abilities as well as their faults. They understand that they cannot achieve or know everything and they're comfortable with that. Instead of seeing failure as a personal snub, they see it as an opportunity for growth. So to be able to admit that you're wrong sometimes and to use it as an opportunity to learn is a step towards building confidence. Do you follow any of the habits we've mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like it and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.